here with a new video to, about AI. Today I will show you how to install Confi UI on our MacBook i9 Pro machine and I'm going to show you how Confi UI works alongside with your previous automatic 11.11 installation. Confi UI is another interface that allows us to use stable diffusion. It is quite popular and loved actually. So uh, I think it needs time to develop a little more, but I can say that it works better than in the interface that comes with automatic 1111. You feel the performance increase while creating an image in automatic 1111. My machine was slowing down and I could not browse the internet. With Confi UI, I can both generate images and navigate the browser with ease. If you have a MacBook i9 Pro machine, I recommend you try Confi UI. So, Confi UI is workshop based, flowchart based interface. We can actually see how stable diffusion works and how it interacts with different tools. It is good for understanding how the system works actually, generally. Let's move on to the setup. How to install Confi UI to MacBook i9 Pro. Let's start. So, this is Confi UI repo. So, we are going to clone this repo to our machine to run Confi UI on our machine. So there is a Confi UI installation already in my computer, but I will show you how to install new one. So I renamed it. So we have to open terminal and we, we should so I'm using AI folder as a root folder to uh, grouping all, all the AI things together. So we need a uh, git clone command to download weapon into our machine. So it doesn't take time, so it's downloaded easily. Uh, so you can see the Confi UI folder in your root folder. So before uh, running the Confi, Confi, Confi UI in our machine, we should do something. So I open the Confi UI. Uh, folder then I found two extra model paths yaml dot dot example so we should rename this uh, file uh, we should also remove the example uh, extension so, why we are doing this, we should use YAML file. So we can use our models already installed that the uh, automatic 11.11 models folder. So we can use that models. We don't need to install again these models. And so we can open that file with text edit or Visual Studio Code. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Then we have to change the base path. So where the stable diffusion UI installed. So this is my base path. Where the stable diffusion installed in my machine. 
so we have to save it this file then we can close it if you want to run uh, confi machine in our machine so we have to open confi ui folder and we have to use a main dot py uh, file to run confi ui but this machine macbook i9 pro so we can't use the GPU in that machine generating image with AI so we have to use that attribute so before starting the config UI so we, we should declare that we can we use the CPU when you try start the config UI So we got errors because we need some requirements to install some libraries and some uh, we should download some requirements but we have already uh, stable diffusion web UI so we can use a virtual environment folder uh, for the config UI so also, there is an instruction. Yes. So we can use that uh, virtual environment to run Confi UI. So we need what we need to do. So we need to copy this command. Actually. We should open stable diffusion web UI folder and copy and pass this command. We can delete this and also this. Then we can activate virtual environment for the config UI. So when you run this command, so if you see the folder here, so it's everything is okay. So you don't need to do anything. So just you have to go conf UI folder again, then run conf UI in written script. This, the server is started so we can we can copy that address then past our browser and you will see the conf UI is working on your mesh so we can ready to generate our first image so actually I don't like this uh, so only one thing I want to save you so I'm gonna remove save image so then double click the board then you can I'm using preview image instead of saving because I can save I don't want to save the image if I don't like it so if I like it I can save uh, the image with right click also in image preview so this is the default uh, layout so there is a, the uh, the conf UI knows the what models already installed so I'm using one of them and we can run it 
actually it takes time because this machine i9 Pro and we are using CPU but also I'm recording that video so why it takes time to generate uh, an image so also you can see the processes so it is good to see how to uh, system works this means this part is working now the checkpoint is loading already now and the all prompts and the sampler is now working you can also follow the process on the terminal but also there is a, a timeline here you can follow the process also on the UI as I said it takes time because also I'm recording a video but I will fast forward it I will fast forward this part uh, now the image generation part is completed and the decode part is working then we will see the image soon when this uh, job is done then here is the result we produced our first image, image using Confi UI that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, don't forget to follow me and like the video. See you later.